I'm Megan. I'm Sierra. And I'm Maggie. And we're from the Chanastics 2. Welcome to TC Tuesday. Today we're going to be showing you some life hacks, but these ones are a little different because they're going to be actual, realistic life hacks that you can use. And these ones are for gymnastics. Like, yeah. yeah. What am I trying to say? So. One of our biggest pet peeves, and like we've done this probably in the past too, is when you're watching a life hacks or a DIY video, and they're very creative, but a lot of times they're unrealistic, and a lot of people probably just watch the video and don't do them. So our goal with this video is to give you things that actually are useful and that you guys can actually use. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the very first hack slash DIY is making a Leo to a grip bag, and I know we showed you how to do this before, but this one is new and improved, it looks way better. So you're going to cut the top part of the leotard off and the bottom part of the leotard. You can easily use a leotard that you don't wear anymore or maybe one that's a little too small. Or if you just wanna go try and find a cheap one to turn into a grip bag, that works too. So this is what it looks like after you cut the top and bottom off. I'm going to actually make the bottom of my grip bag at the top of part of the leotard because it is bigger, so I just feel like that makes more sense. Then you're going to turn the leotard inside out so that way you can get ready to hot glue the bottom. Just make a hot glue line across the bottom of the leotard on the good side and then put the two sides together and then press firmly so that it glues nice and tight so that there's no holes. And then I flip mine back out so that way I can see if it looked right and I thought it worked great, there were no holes. And then you're going to start making a tunnel for the headband that we're going to be using as the elastic. So this is the top part of the grip bag. I'm going and making a line of hot glue across the top and then I'm trying to get just the ends and not like the whole thing because you want to leave a hole in the middle. Try and get just the end part of the top, I guess, to go on the hot glue. And then, now that that's done, you're going to take your scissors, cut a small little hole at the seam so that way you can get a little hole so you can see, so you can actually get the headband into the tunnel. Then cut your headband and then take a safety pin and put that on the headband. We're just using the safety pin as a way to guide it through the tunnel. That way it's much easier to do it. It's easier to lead a safety pin in than just like a headband, so that's why we're using it. Then you're going to find the hole that you cut and then start leading your headband and safety pin through. Just keep working and bunching up the material until it gets all the way back to the other side and it comes out the other hole. Once you get it all the way through to the other side and you have both ends out of the leotard, you can just take the hot glue gun and glue the ends back together again and then you have a perfectly great working grip bag. This one is 10 times better, like honestly like a thousand times better than the last one we did. It looks better, it functions perfectly, it scrunches up, it stays scrunched up. You can open it up all the way. Like this is a great DIY, you guys should totally try it out. So hack number two is to practice your hand placement. This is mostly going to help you with the skills on beam, especially this was a lifesaver for me and Sears back handsprings. So before you're throwing a skill, go and put your hands on the beam and keep your arms locked out just like you would for the skill, whether it's a back handspring, a back walkover, maybe even a cartwheel or handstand. That way you are ready and like have some muscle memory of how to put your hands and it should help you become less fearful of throwing yourself backwards because your hands are ready and they know what they need to do. If you need a little more motivation to help you set goals and get new skills quicker, then this hack is totally for you. Open up your calendar on your phone or even write it down and start marking days that you want to throw at certain skills or like do a certain skill. So maybe for the first practice you're going to be like, I'm going to throw something on beam with a giant mat and then slowly set goals that are going to be more difficult and that way you make sure you're staying on track to get new skills because you don't want to like push off getting new skills all the way until right before the season starts and then you don't have what you need. So this honestly helped me and Sierra out so much. It helped us be accountable and also we were each other's, I guess, little buddies. So we would tell each other our schedules, I guess, and then try and make sure that we were doing what we were saying we were going to do. So definitely try and find a buddy to help keep you accountable. And if you want, you can maybe even treat yourself if you actually throw the stuff that you're saying you're going to throw. So really just try and motivate yourself and get someone else to Hold you accountable. All that I need is more, more, more. If any of you guys are working on back handsprings, you might be a little confused on whether you should be focusing on jumping up or jumping backwards. And the truth is you have to do both. So that's why it's confusing. 
So try thinking about just jumping to your hands and not necessarily jumping up or jumping back, but just jumping to your hands and hopefully that should make things a little bit easier and it's not as hard to think about. Hip grips are pretty useful for a few different reasons. If you're not really interested in getting actual grips yet, this could be a great little in-between thing before you get actual grips, see if you like them. This is also really helpful if you get a rip and you still want to practice bars, but you want to make sure you're protecting your rip and not rubbing it on the bar or anything, because ouch! So if you've never made tape grips before, you're going to need athletic tape. You can see I was like making a foot long strip about and then I folded it in half sticky side to sticky side and then you're going to bring the ends together leaving a small hole at the top. That's where your finger is going to go and then you're going to take some more athletic tape to um, tape them together. You can use, try and do like front and back just to make it more secure and then you're going to put it on and then you take the athletic tape again and just wrap it around your wrist. You can also, once you're done using this, you can just take the tape back off of your wrist and then you can put it in your locker and then you don't have to keep making the actual grip part again. You can just keep that and then retape it to your wrist every time. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. If you guys want to know how to hold a longer handstand, then this hack is for you. So if you're falling forward in your handstand, which means that your feet are going over past your head, you're going to want to dig your fingers into the ground, and then if you're falling it back down like normal, you're going to want to dig your palms into the ground. That just kind of helps balance out your weight. So this is Sierra trying her more balanced handstand, but we're on a hill, so like, give her a little bit of a break. It's hard, you gotta keep practicing, and you're not just gonna get it right away. It's just a matter of continuing to practice balancing. Quick tip, if you want to hold a handstand, you have to squeeze it super tight. A loose handstand is going to be much harder to hold than a tight one. If any of you guys had the option of picking your own floor music, then this hack is going to be so helpful. So obviously, people are in the car a lot, at least most people are. And if you're ever listening to the radio and you find a song that you really like and you think that it has good instrumental music, and you really like it, try and make a notes in your phone so that way you can write down potential floor music. That way when you actually have to go back and pick floor music for the season, you have a whole lot of options that you can go through. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And also comment down below which life hack you think was your favorite. My personal favorite is the planning out your skills. It really helps you get motivated and get going. If you would like to subscribe to our channel, either press the red button down below or you can press our icon over there. If you want to check out some of our merchandise, click the t-shirt button over there. And if you want to watch our last video, just click it right there. And we'll see you on Friday. Bye! Bye.